Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Eddie. So for today's video are some of the changes for U.S. entry. So the CDC has announced again, actually, this was last week, but I am going to do a recap, especially to those who have not heard this announcement from CDC on U.S. entry changes starting this month, January of 2023. Let's talk about it. Details coming right up. So these changes for the U.S. entry comes into effect because of the increasing COVID-19 cases again in China. So this is regardless if you are a U.S. citizen, a lawful permanent resident of the United States, or you're an immigrant, or you're a tourist, you have to abide by the new health protocol from CDC that has started already last week. So what are these changes? The U.S. is now requiring again COVID-19 testing for travelers coming into the U.S. As I mentioned, this is to all travelers, even if you are a U.S. citizen. So let's check it out on what the CDC had to say on this sudden change because before the u.s only requires for tourists entering the united states to be fully vaccinated they don't accept unvaccinated tourists only for tourists but this time they require covid 19 tests especially if you are coming from this particular country cdc is announcing that it will implement a requirement for a negative COVID-19 test or documentation of recovery for air passengers boarding flights to the United States originating from the People's Republic of China or PRC and the Special Administrative Regions of Hong Kong and Macau. CDC is announcing this step to slow the spread of COVID-19 in the United States. During the surge of COVID-19 cases, in the PRC, given the lack of adequate and transparent epidemiological and viral genomic sequence data being reported from the PRC. That was hard to pronounce. These data are critical to monitor case surge effectively and decrease the chance for entry of a novel variant of concern. CDC will continue to monitor the situation and adjust our approach as necessary so you guys have probably heard this in the news like i mentioned earlier that china is going through looks like going through another surge again because the covid 19 cases is up again actually some cities there are on lockdown so the united states is doing the best they can as a precaution on those travelers entering the united states coming from china from macau or in hong kong and i know we have subscribers in the community that comes and travels from the countries that i mentioned so this has started last january 5th all air passengers two years and older originating from the prc will be required to get a test such as pcr test or antigen self-test administered and monitored by a telehealth service or a licensed provider and authorized by the Food and Drug Administration or the relevant national authority. No more than two days before their departure from PRC, Hong Kong or Macau and show a negative test to the airline staff. So if you're one of those passengers, either RT-PCR test or antigen test within 48 hours prior to your departure. So this will be required this should be negative the requirement applies to these air passengers regardless of nationality and vaccination status so like i said earlier whether you are a u.s citizen or a resident of the united states for example you are coming from hong kong you are required to show a negative either rt-pcr test or antigen test within 48 hours prior to your departure this is even regardless of your vaccination status. So uh, whether you are unvaccinated or fully vaccinated, 
the United States require the COVID-19 test. This will also apply to persons traveling from PRC via third country transit and to passengers connecting through the United States onward for their destinations. Along with applying this requirement to direct flights from the PRC, passengers transiting Incheon International Airport, Toronto Person International Airport, and Vancouver International Airport on their way to the United States will be required to provide COVID-19 tests. So please take note of these passengers transiting to airports because if you are headed to the United States and you are transiting in this airport mentioned, then they will require, unfortunately, will be required to provide a negative COVID-19 test if they have been in the PRC in the last 10 days, no more than two days before their departure to the United States. So please take note of this. These three transit hubs cover the overwhelming majority of passengers with, with traveling originating in the PRC. I keep saying PRC, but this is China. And the special administrative region, that's Macau and Hong Kong. We will continue to monitor travel patterns, adjust our approach as needed, and keep Americans informed in a timely manner. Passengers who tested positive more than 10 days before the flight can provide documentation of recovery from COVID-19 in lieu of the negative test result. Airlines must confirm the negative COVID-19 test result or documentation of recovery for all passengers before they board or deny boarding to the passengers. So, if you guys want to read up that announcement from CDC, I am going to leave the link in the description box. I'm just uh, showing you guys the important announcement that the CDC has provided to those passengers, especially if you are coming from China, Hong Kong, and Macau, or Macau, you will have to show a negative antigen test. Like I said, please take note of those transit airports. Now, if you are coming from the Philippines and you are transiting to like Taiwan or Hong Kong, this is not required. But please, I know the CDC said this is not required, but I would confirm this with the airline because it looks like they are going to strictly implement this again they have started this already like i said this has been announced last week i am sharing this to you guys just in case you are one of those who are going back to the united states with this changes of the u.s entry and this applies to all passengers entering the united states whether you are a u.s citizen a legal resident no exemption especially if you are coming from these countries that I mentioned that has now large cases of COVID-19 again. So as usual guys, as a traveler, always check with your airline the most recent travel protocols to your country of destination. So this is another change again from the United States. Looks like the United States is closely monitoring these passengers coming from China, Hong Kong and Macau. So like I said, if you are one of these passengers, make sure that you have a confirmation with your airline. Make sure that you have that negative RT-PCR test or antigen test within 48 hours prior to departure. Like I mentioned earlier, these are only for travelers coming from the countries we mentioned. If you are coming from the Philippines and for some reason you are in transit in one of those countries we mentioned then it is not required for you to have a negative rt-pcr test but as what i keep reminding you guys make sure you have this confirmed with your airline that way you have everything you need before you board the aircraft that way no denial is going to happen because you did not know what the requirements are so this is our latest travel updates this time if you are bound to the united states Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will try my very best to get back to you guys as soon as I can. I really apologize for being so delayed replying to you guys and 
I will try to reply to all your comments in the video. Again, guys, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone.